What is the point of this whole concept? Nobody tunes into HBO for the static. <laughs>
all is going to be new is hearing my voice audio. On a scale of 10, how bad are you? Uh, pretty bad, I'd say a 2. Okay, that's got me more nervous. Uh, 15 minutes, your time starts now. Let's go. Okay, first things first, take the crap. Okay. Okay, put it flat side down on the board, like okay. this. Just like that. Got it. And then get your hands underneath, get your two thumbs in place at six o'clock and you push up and you lift that up and that's called the purse. Now from there, take these big legs off. I think I took them all off, but no, all right. No, because there's no point in wasting time on the little legs. We'll be here all day. Get your cloth, put your cloth on top, get the back of your knife and lightly crack the claws. That opens them up and then look what happens from there. You sort of crack open and then get your finger inside and beautifully slide out this incredible nugget of crap. Beautiful. All right, I'm, I'm trying to get the nuggets. Have you got the nuggets? I'm not getting the nuggets. Yeah. Try, pinch the end here. They're kind of pinching me. They're pinching you. <laughs> Shane, the crab is dead. Did you push hard enough on the knife? Uh, perhaps not. OK, so you've got to give it some, some welly, as we say in England, please, and crunch. Oh, I see. Hands. There you go. OK, you've got crab ready, yes? Yes, I do. Thank goodness for that. Right, let's start off with the bell peppers. OK, right, so I'm... Top right. and tail, OK? All right. What should I do with the crab, Gordon? Okay. So put it back in the bowl okay. and clear off your bench. OK. Shane, yeah. if you work nice and tidy, we'll produce a stunning crab cake. If you work in a mess, we'll produce a mess. Right, top and tail, your bell peppers. OK. And then you take your knife and yeah. slice down, slice around. That way we get rid of the bitter parts in the centre. All we do now is form a beautiful julienne. Skin side's quite rough, so put the skin side down onto the board, and then from there, chop. Now, the secret of these peppers is to make sure it's small dicing, okay? Okay, what do so, you consider small, Gordon? Uh, I would say uh, half a centimeter. Okay, half I, don't a centimeter. Know, I don't know metric. You don't know metric. Shane, come on, yeah. we're not in the 21st century. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, once you finally dice yes. all your bell peppers, yes. lift them up into the bowl for your crab. With me? Yes, they're in the bowl. Good. Now, the secret is to make sure that once they cook, they almost disappear, so make sure they're not big. Okay. From there, get your crab meat. Got it. And flake the crab meat into the peppers. We're going to season the crab meat with salt and pepper. Open up the top of the pepper mill so we get a nice crunch of pepper in there. Salt, and then take your lemon and then zest that into the mixture. Now, All right. uh, wait, spin I'm, the lemon I'm, around. Uh, getting my zest here. Keep up with me, please. I'm doing my best. OK, take a little slice off the top of the lemon and squeeze the juice in there. From there, take an egg, beat up the egg, season that as well, salt, pepper as well. Sorry, and what am I doing with the egg? So you just put the egg into the bowl. Uh-huh, the whole you, egg? The whole egg uh -huh. and your whisk. And then wait, I gotta break you add up that the egg. in. Wait, and what's in that mixture there, Shane? Yes. Okay, stay with me. Got a it. teaspoon of mustard, a teaspoon, teaspoon of, mustard. of Worcestershire sauce, and then a little touch of cayenne pepper. And then Shane. Yes. I just want you to take that and smell the sort of bowl, and make sure it smells nice and fragrant. It does. And then taste a little bit. Taste the season. We can't season it after we've cooked it, so we season it. Okay. It tastes good. I was a little spicy, to be honest. That, that, that's the idea. When you cook it, we'll lose a bit of that spice. Now, okay. from there, lightly sprinkle your breadcrumbs over the mix. All of it? No. Lightly sprinkle <laughs> okay. breadcrumbs over the mix. Got it. And Shane, what we're trying to do here now is use the breadcrumbs to bring the crab cake together. Take your sheet tray, and then you take your cutter, and you press the crab meat. The secret here yeah. is to press the crab meat into the cutter. You know we're up against it time-wise. I'm pressing. OK, so press it in there. Got it. From there, we're going to turn on our pan, wash our hands. Wash my You're hands. You're doing a great job for a minute, you know. Great job. Now, we're going to sit these into the pan, turn your pan on to a medium-high. Medium-high. At 80 degrees. Now, once that gets up to temperature, very carefully remove the cutter from your crab cake. And you've got two nice, perfectly rounded crab cakes. Perfect. Uh, Gordon, I, so my, my circles are now perfectly circular here and a little, little bit well, mis misformed. Uh, Shane, yeah. uh, first of all, don't blame the equipment. Take some responsibility. And I gave you oh. a perfect set of cookie cutters. Yeah. So if they're not perfectly done, yes. there's no reason why. You press them down, you put a little bit of effort and energy into the crab cake, and you okay. mold it. OK. With me? I am with you. Good. Now we can start <laughs> cooking. All right. Take a teaspoon of olive oil into the pan. 
roll the pan round, and then from there, get your spatula under oh. your crab cake, okay. lift it up nice and gently. Okay. Okay, nice thing is, across these crab cakes, there'll be no visual peppers, because you would have fine diced them beautifully. If they're so finely the diced, you wouldn't know there's peppers. That, there you there. go, that's Got the secret. Great. Into the pan, the okay. first one goes in at 12 o'clock. And the idea now is to get some color on those crab cakes. To put some what? To get some color. Color, no, okay. No color, no flavor. Got it. Second one in, okay. goes at six o'clock. Six o'clock, it's in. Okay, great. Now, from there, now we're gonna move on to the dressing. Okay, this is where it gets really exciting. Take okay. your mayonnaise, excuse me. Mayonnaise. Add your capers, one tablespoon of capers, one teaspoon of mustard into the mayonnaise. Take your chopped red onion. Uh, I do not have chopped onions. I'm gonna have to chop oh. it myself. Here we go. You can take some of mine. There you go. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Now, gently give your crab cakes a little shake. From there, take your spoon and mix all that in. Take the other half of your lemon, squeeze the lemon juice in there, and then roughly chop the tarragon into the remoulade. Uh, Good. The tarragon is what? What's the tarragon? Tarragon, have a little oh, taste. Oh, no, no, I see it, I see it. So like nice long strands. Yeah. Okay. Now, the salad. Take your radish, okay? Open up the radish. We're gonna season the salad with the lemon juice and a little touch of olive oil. Now we need to dress this salad very lightly, okay? Salt, pepper, with me. I'm with you, I'm adding my pepper. Great, and then we'll take the spatula salt. and we start to turn our crab cake. Turn uh, it? Turn it, turn very it carefully. over. Put your hand on the top at 12 o'clock, okay. listen carefully, spatula underneath, yep. and turn it. Turn it over. Beautiful, turn it over. Okay. Good. Looking good. Ready for the most exciting part. Okay, great. And that's to dress the plate. Take your salad dressing, lightly toss the dressing, and then want to create the salad at the top of your plate. Get your salad into almost like a sort of, like a rose at the top of your plate. Sorry, I'm... A rose. A, a rose. rose. Remember the last time you brought roses? Yeah. There you go. So imagine this rose... Wait, wait, with the, with the at salad? At the top of your... Yeah, we're, we're creating a garden at the top of our plate. I got it, okay. A fresh, delicious garden. Okay. Get put your plate on the board, put the salad on the plate. Gently zest over the salad the fragrance of your lemon. Get your remoulade and spoon your remoulade at uh -huh. six o'clock and then run your spoon through it so it looks like a beautiful smear on the plate. Gently lift your crab cakes out. Okay. And just place them on set like that. And then very carefully, we're gonna finish it with a little drizzle um, okay, of I'm fresh lemon the juice. Cakes to the and then I'd like the plate absolutely spotless. And there we go. And that is how to perfect an amazing crab cake finished with a stunning remoulade and a fragrant salad like it's just been picked. Shane, are you with me? I'm with you. On I'm the ready. count of three, turn around and show me yours. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Holy fuck. Shane, did you drop it? I didn't drop it. Jesus no, I, Christ. I, I did everything you told me to, to a T. That looks a lot better. I want to eat that. Jesus. Shane, <laughs> Sorry, go you on. are bad. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure that's cooked through, so oh I hope it'll be okay for you. Shane, it looks like a dog's dinner. <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to taste this. It's actually seasoned nicely, mm. but the presentation is shocking. Um, Gordon, do you, do you think I succeeded? No. No. Okay. I know that was tough, uh, and you hadn't touched crap before, but uh, you were bad. But promise me you'll keep on trying. Uh, you've, you, your encouragement means something to me. I'm going to try. I'm going to try cooking. I promise.
everybody, it's Bobby Flay, and uh, this is Shane, one of the best cooks to ever. Um, it tastes like a mushroom. Here's sizzle right away. Make sure you're, you know, you're working neatly. You know, when you finish one thing, sort of move it out of the way so that you can w work on the next thing. Clean, got it. One vinegar, maybe like uh, three splashes. How much water? Add like half a cup to start. And then um, you're going to add a little bit more until let a lot of the oil drip back into the pot. Uh-huh. Okay, and then very carefully just let it, um, put it right on top of your... Okay, let's do it. All right. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I've never seen a chilarino like that before. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. That looks much more artistic. Uh, it's just different. Thank you. What did you... Okay. Yeah, the mushrooms are good. Climbing. To fall properly, you need to get high. This instructional video was prepared for everyone who does not feel high enough and is ready to do something about their situation. Climbing is as easy as doing yoga. The major difference being that yoga leaves you where you started, even if done properly. Let's break it down. Raise your hands. Inhale, optional. Approach the obstacle. Lower your hands, grabbing the obstacle. Look down to pull yourself up. Walk forward as you release your hands. Hand release timing is crucial. Releasing too early or too late will not get you high, and you might as well do yoga instead.
get even higher, you need to jump before grabbing the edge. Raise your hands running toward the obstacle. Jump to grab the edge. any type of broiler can use. Step one, prep your food. Before turning on the broiler, heat up the broiler, lean fish and with aluminum foil and a flat rack on top before the inside has a chance to cook. Based on what you are broiling, to broil the oven rack. Do this heat out of the grease. Never use glass cookware for broiling because it's not made to handle the high heat. Step three, adjust the oven rack. Do this only while the oven is still cold. Put the meat on the broiler pan 
and put the pan on the oven rack. Slide the rack into the oven and check the distance between the top of the meat and the heat source. As a general rule, you want three to five inches between the top of the food and the heat source. But set your rack to the right height based on what you are broiling. To broil steaks that are crusty brown on the outside and rare to medium rare on the inside, set the rack closer to the broiler. Set the rack further down if you want your steaks more evenly cooked all the way through. For chicken, put your oven rack even lower so the outside doesn't char before the inside has a chance to cook. Now bring the pan and food back out so you can preheat the oven. Step four, heat up. Preheat your broiler for five to seven minutes. When the broiler is hot, slide the broiling pan onto the oven rack. Some broilers run hotter than others, so it's a good idea to keep a close eye on the cooking. After the first side is nicely browned, use a pot holder to pull the rack out slightly so you can turn over the meat. Always use tongs. A fork pierces the meat and lets out the delicious juices. If you're broiling fish, turn it over using a wide spatula so it doesn't break apart. Broiling cooks food quickly, so start checking for doneness a couple of minutes after turning over the food. To do this, insert an instant read thermometer into the side of the meat, avoiding any bone. Steaks are medium to medium rare at 145 degrees Fahrenheit, and they'll be well done at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Burgers and pork chop Climbing. To fall properly, you need to get high.
like the house. Cheese sandwich. Its name is the. Re